cheese, steak, cheese, cheese, steak. We got cheese, steak, cheese, steak, cheese, steak. There's for sure a cheese steak song. I just wrote it, Jeremy. God damn it. I'm so sorry. That was really rude. Yeah, I was like, you're listening to it. Concerts MC here, and even though the Philadelphia cheesesteak is obviously from Philadelphia, doesn't mean that sandwich restriction has not traveled its way to the West Coast. So I'm here to find the best cheesesteak here. In Can you get in? Let's go get cheesesteak. He's hungry. We gotta go. We're on our way to getting cheesesteaks cheese from multiple locations. We are going to judge. Logically, spiritually, and emotionally, <laughs> parsley. Do I want to bathe in the sauce? Oh, yeah. If I want to bathe in the sauce, top notch. Well, here's the thing, Jerbear, is that there's cheese sauce. There's just straight up melted cheese. Sometimes they don't even put cheese. How is it a cheese steak if it's no cheese? That's what I'm wondering. Cheese I think it's just steak. a steak. You got cheese on the brain. I get cheese it. Cheese on the brain. You got, cheese, you got a cheesy brain. Well, okay, we are holding in our hand together the cheesesteak cheese shop, cheesesteak. Cheese uh, cheesesteak shop was founded by two East Coast natives, started in San Francisco in 1982. Caution may be habit forming. I intend to form some habits today. Yeah. Flavor's good. I'm loving that provolone cheese sauce going on. It's delicious. I got it all over my face, good sign. Yeah, yeah. Structurally incredible. The steak has a really nice pepperiness to it. Five check, we're giving it four cows. Four cows, three breads. And two peppers. On to the next one. So of course, whenever you are testing out any sandwich, you need a workman sandwich, a blue collar to sandwich, if you will. And so today we are checking out a little bit of a creation that me and Jeremy made, but a Subway style cheesesteak. Let's go in. First critiques and not cut in the center. <laughs> yeah, but this is great if one person in the family eats more, yeah. one person eats less. Yeah, two thirds one third. Yeah, two thirds one third. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. First impression, <laughs> it looks a little dry. Surprisingly not the worst sandwich I've ever eaten, but I would say out of a vibe check, I would give it a two cow, a half loaf, and a half pickle. And for my vibe check, I'd go a half cluff, <gasps> two rolls, and one half potato. It's just not quite there for me. Okay. All right, on to the next Time one. On to the next one. Busters in San Francisco, Ooh. California, in the neighborhood of North Beach. Jeremy, do us the honors. Oh, we're going in. Oh. Good amount of meat here. We got a little cheese whiz, American style. We got a nice chop on the meat with some onions in there. Mm. Their meat seasoning blend is on point. You got salty, you got some onion powder, I think maybe some celery powder. Uh, some nutritional yeast for sure. Gives it that kind of cheesy bite to it. I like, feel like they seasoned a lot better here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get four rolls, two cows. Five cows for the meat. Two rolls, buns, loaves, mm. and a hen. <laughs> Why hen? You like that though, you like I that. I like the song. Jeremy like, likes a good soggy bottom. I like a, a soggy bottom. Mm -hmm. Like, the drip is good. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. This is a hard work, so you don't have to. <laughs> that was pretty good. 